Continuing with the off the shelf supermarket beer series, today we have Chapel Downs Curious Brew. After starting life as a winery, Chapel Downs started producing some award winning beers and this is their lager offering. It comes in at 4.7% ABV and is available in bottles, cans and on draft including at Gordon Ramsay restaurants. Ooh, fancy. They say they use their winemaking techniques to help create this beer and the same could be said for this label. The text and layout is pretty much a carbon copy of the ones they use on their bottles of wine. At the top you're treated to a gold band around the neck of the bottle and what says class more than wrapping yourself in gold. Moving further down what I do like is the logo. Inside an elegant golden diamond is a golden question mark over two golden hops. Oh, doesn't it make you curious? So if we turn to the back it's in the description where things get interesting. They describe it as a modern lager that's been repitched with champagne yeast and given a dosage of rare Nelson Savin hops. So rare in fact you can easily order a packet for next day delivery from most homebrew websites. So I think it's safe to say that this beer screams elegance, class and wealth. All the things I'm not. So before someone finds out and stops me, let's crack it open. Ah, ball bags. Bloody champagne yeast. Straight out the glass you can see it pours a crystal clear golden yellow that is topped off with a large white head. You get a subtle spicy sweet aroma which rises out of the glass. Mmm. Well, let's give it a taste. Ooh. As is typical with most lagers, you're presented with a light body that's incredibly crisp and smooth. There's not a lot of carbonation going on, but it's quite refreshing. You get an incredibly light bitterness to it, most likely because the only bittering hops they use is the rare Nelson Savin hop. And the flavour is very clean and crisp. You can taste the combinations of hops, but they're very subtle as they lightly pass over your taste buds, after which you get a very subtle champagne-like aftertaste. If you were to pick this up, it's an easy one to transition to. It's a familiar lager taste, but with the Curious Brew, you're presented with additional subtle flavours that you wouldn't find in the traditional run-of-the-mill brands. So how about we give this one an RBR? I'm going to give this a 75% RBR. It's a decent enough lager, but unless you're really hunting for those flavours, you won't notice them too much. The champagne yeast is a really inventive touch, but when you're marketing that alongside rare hops, it feels like it's been cobbled together to make the beer seem more exclusive rather than for the purpose of flavour. All in all, this beer is for the connoisseurs out there. Or to make your friends and family think you're posher than you actually are. 